So, I was driving uh, to the beach the other day, air conditioning blowing, frozen foot, it was so cold. Uh, next day, I get in the car, it's hot, a little bit of heat wave. We have, uh, I don't know, it's like 85 degrees here still, it's fall time, California. I know, we hate our lives, but uh, <laughs> the air conditioning just stopped blowing. Um, the light still comes on, as you can see. But as you're driving, the uh, the tack doesn't change if you kick it on so that it's not engaging, even though it shows the lights on. So we're going to have a look at uh, where the fuses are. It's on the side here. Nifty little hole. Put your uh, key in. Pop it open. So looking online, it looks like number 16 is our fuse which is this one here. Um, and it's reversed inside the panel, which is always nice. Kind of look for these blank spaces and this angle to be able to see kind of which one you're looking at. So it is right at the top. This guy up here. Number 10 fuse. So we'll pull that out first and see what's going on. So in your fuse box, you have this nifty little fuse puller. Um, we're gonna go get our number 10. Give it a little pinch, open it up. Pops right out. <clears throat> so it looks pretty good to me. I don't see any uh, breaks in there. It's got a little gunk on it. <clears throat> I'm sure it's... Uh, Factory gunk, so probably means it's better than regular gunk. Pop that right back in. That doesn't seem to be our issue. All right, we'll check under the hood. So, there's another fuse box under the hood. This is our battery in here. Um, this is aftermarket, fine detail work. So, uh, we'll pop this off and see our fuse box underneath. So there's just two pinch uh, little round nubs on the side of this thing. That's how you press it off on each side. You push your fingers in there. Pulls right off. If you haven't seen yet, that's your battery down there. And then here we have another little fuse box on top. So, notoriously these things uh, kind of sizzle. And it's one of these fuses here. It's the one closest, sorry, the further, the, if you're <laughs> looking at it, this is my left hand, it's the furthest to your left. And I can smell something right away. And as you can see, there's been some discoloration from heat or it smells electrically. That's not good. Oh yeah, let's zoom in here a little bit. Look at that. Fried. So I'll pull that out and see what it looks like in there. I don't know if I can replace the fuse or if this whole box is gonna have to be replaced. So I had an electrician working at my house one time and uh, he wrapped these pliers with this extra tape so he didn't get shocked. I don't know if that should make me worried or happy, but guess what, I feel more comfortable with it. So we're gonna pull this guy out here and see how it looks. Holy crap, all right, it broke right off. As you can see, it's gross. This doesn't look like something that Volkswagen would want people to see. All right, before you start faffing around with this battery stuff, uh, pull off these terminals. Um, I just took off the, it's a 10 mil. Take off the negative, I shoved it over here, attached it to the body, and then I took this guy off here and just pushed it to the side. Um, you take your multimeter, make sure you don't have any juice going through anything so that uh, you don't end up looking like that fuse. So I'm gonna try and clean this up just to see what it looks like. I, <laughs> it looks bad but I want to see what it looks like inside of there and see if I can even test power when I, uh, these both were hot here. Um, so we'll test it after we get it cleaned up. Um, so we can see in here, we have chunks left over. Uh, the little, items of that fuse that have come off. So I'm gonna pull these chunks out. Here's one here, old Chunkington. And uh, pull this one out and see what it looks like. 
No, not the gold rush. Two little nugs of a uh, fuse, unfortunately. So I pulled out what I could see in there, and we're gonna give it a little blow, make sure there's nothing else. Yeah, it's hooked up to the air compressor. So we've blown it out. As you can see, it's not too nice in there. However, <laughs> the little pieces on the side that pinch against the fuse are still intact, which is interesting. Uh, basically as intact as the other side. So I might try and shove one in there and see what it does. So you got your little fuse collection, hopefully. You look for something like that for your 30 amp one, the green. Um, yeah, you hope you, this is a lifetime supply and hopefully you have a friend like me who just gave this to me literally like two weeks ago. He bought a whole grip load of them on uh, Amazon and he's a sharer and a carer. So thank you very much. 30 amp fuse, pop it in there. We'll hook up these terminals, just enough. All right, we have Power for all these guys. We have power to fuse on the right, fuse on the left. Nothing. Oh, what's that? We have power there. Let's see if it's here. We do have power to this new fuse, too. So, don't know why it started sizzling but we put a new fuse in there try the air conditioner all right let's see if this thing kicks on this time we haven't started it yet this morning